It's DIY day and I'm so excited to share this one with you. And what I love most as always is how cheap it was, how easy it was, and how much it looks like it's not cheap or easy, if that makes any sense. So I am so excited to do this wreath. I've been wanting to do this for a couple of years and never have gotten around to it. And now that I've done it, I'm like, really, I waited all this time. It is a little bit time consuming. It took me a little bit, like about 45 minutes to do, but it's so beautiful. I'm gonna go and show you what we're gonna do today. I can't even deal. I can't, I can't deal. I can't deal with this anymore. I think this is absolutely stunning. And yes, by the title of this video, you can do this for about five to six dollars, depending on if you have the material already or not. For me, this was a five dollar project because I already had the tool, but the tool, you don't need that much, so you can get it for about a dollar. And does this not look like something that you would buy out of a store for like 20, 25 bucks? Because I think this is absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited to share things like this with you guys because this is the DIY level I like to do. Maybe one day I'll like become some sort of like expert where I'll go to Home Depot and get like wood and nails and I don't know, make furniture. But like this is the kind of stuff I love to do and share with you guys. So if you want to see exactly how I put this together, then keep watching. This DIY is fairly easy. I purchased a foam heart shaped wreath and this was $3.99 from Hobby Lobby and I used a 40% off coupon. If you sign up for their emails, you will get coupons weekly or you can just go online and get the coupon or if you have the app on your phone, Retail Me Not, you can just grab the 40% off from there. So I got this and they only really had this one size and then we're going to cover this wreath with candy hearts, actual candy hearts. So. This wreath is actually going to stay indoors. I'm worried that if I put it outside, it will like attract ants, but I guess the same could go for inside, but I feel like it's just a better wreath for inside. And so I wasn't sure how many bags to get. I didn't know how many candies would fit around the heart. So I got three bags from the Dollar Tree and we are going to be covering all the way from the, almost not the back, but almost all of the back here to the front and even towards the inside because we don't wanna see any of this foam wreath right here, but we are going to leave the back flat. We are going to use the tool to hang it with. I decided to go with white. This is um, just extra tool that I've had on hand. And you're also gonna need some hot glue or your glue gun to add the candy hearts to the wreath. I'm not going to go in any specific order. I do want it to kind of look like a rainbow, so I'm going to do my best to not pair up the same color right next to it. But other than that, I'm not going to give it too much thought. I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and find a starting point. Add a little bit of glue. further see this spot right here and I'm gonna go ahead and add some hearts to this section as well
it turned out absolutely beautiful and I'm just again so surprised how beautiful something can be from a couple of dollars and now we're going to use the white tool to hang this love this because it just I don't know it makes it look so luxurious and beautiful and dainty which I really love I am going to tie a bow at the top And now let's go hang this. Well, I hope by the video footage that you see how easy this is to actually do, but I can tell you that this can turn out a different couple of ways depending on the color variation that you actually use. So if you want this to be a little bit more blue, then you're probably gonna need to get a couple of bags, of more, a couple more than like three bags because there's really not that much blue in each bag. This wreath is going to be an indoor wreath. I am thinking that I'm going to use this to decorate over my daughter's bedroom door or maybe her bathroom door, something like that. Now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, hmm, should I do another one? I mean, it was only five, six dollars. So I am going to keep this inside. I'm a little bit worried about it going outside with like ants and stuff because it is a candy, but maybe there's some sort of sealant I can use to spray over this. If anybody knows anything about that, please comment below and let me know. I would greatly appreciate it. I have a wreath that I made for my daughter last year and it's uh, like, it's like an argyle wreath and all of my Valentine's Day playlist is down below in the description box. It's a link, and then you can see all of the DIYs I've done to date. Some of them are pretty old. The videos are like really rough because I wasn't as good in editing and things like that back then. So be patient with those, they are older videos. But other than her wreath, I don't know that I actually have any other Valentine's Day wreath. And so for some reason, this just excites me so much because it just did not cost me that much money and it looks like it did. And not that the goal is to make things look like it's expensive, the goal is to make things look luxurious for cheap. Like that's what I'm going for. And I did another Valentine's Day wreath on my channel recently. If you haven't seen it, let me go ahead and share with you what it looks like. So here is the one that I did a couple of weeks ago, maybe last week, I'm not entirely sure. It's a little bit different. It's on a metal like wire. Or I don't know what they call it, like a mesh wire. It's basically where you use mesh and burlap ribbon to weave through the wire. And then I added this hot pink bow. Yeah, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next Valentine's Day DIYs. I have so many coming up that I'm just beside myself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next Valentine's Day DIYs. Bye.